Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, we're gonna be shipping again today. Today we do not have any Poshmark sales. We have three eBay sales and one Kinsen sale. So um, we're gonna get those pulled and shipped. It's actually one o'clock right now. I just had lunch and it's been a busy day. I've been cleaning upstairs. The kids have been kind of crazy like normal. So try and get everything done. We got, it was funny last night, I was, I send offers every day on eBay when it tells me I have watchers and stuff. And I was trying to send an offer and it kept telling me I couldn't. And I'm like, what in the world? What is wrong with this thing? I was doing it on the desktop. So I was trying it on my phone and then finally eBay caught up and the item had already sold. So that was exciting. It's a pair of men's Nike shoes. They came in a, uh, I almost said Jamar. They came in my Cozy Threads men's Nike box. I didn't actually do an unboxing of that one on the channel. I guess I could have. It was actually a pretty neat box, but we're gonna go find those shoes. We do have laundry going, which is also downstairs. So you all are going to most likely hear that in the background. Looking for a black pair of sneakers. I think they're over here on this shelf where we found the Sperry's. I just listed them, so well, just oh, there they are. He's back here. Oh, that camera work though. Okay, sorry about that. Here they are. It's these right here. Don't know anything, and of course they have some rocks in the bottom, but I showed pictures of that. So what we'll do is grab probably a shoe box see what we can do from there. So these Nikes, oh, I'll not stay straight. These Nikes are going to Florida, which isn't usually too bad for me. Let's go ahead and put in the information and see how much it's going to cost. I charged $9.99 for shipping, so I think we're okay. And they sold for $32 plus shipping. So the buyer's all in like, what does it say? $41.99. So I guess this is a decent model of Nike, I guess. I know nothing about Nike shoes. I'm not a sneaker head. I actually, like I said, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I prefer to sell clothes. I, I like list, or, yeah, I like listing shoes, but I prefer to sell clothes. They're just so much easier to throw in a poly mailer. And I'm glad there's people who enjoy selling shoes more because I buy a lot of shoes secondhand because I have a unhealthy obsession with Birkenstocks and I don't like to pay full price. So it's going to cost $8.85 to ship. So still well under what I charged. A flat rate would be $8.20. But I don't really want to shove these. As you can see, they're kind of bulky. I don't want to try to shove these in a padded flat rate. I don't even know if they would. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do my brown paper. My children have crunch. Put it on the bottom. And we're gonna slide these. Kind of like a puzzle. Hopefully slide them in here. Nice snug fit. And put some bubble wrap too. Just make it all kinds of fun. A little got a little extra the other day. So I'm going to figure out where to put my tape gun. I guess I could set you all up somewhere where you could get a better view. But I sit right here in this desk chair at my computer and I don't have a great place to put my phone otherwise. All right, so let's get this. I think eBay tape is the crappiest tape. Let me know what you think, but like, it works, but not great. I think I got most of it with my coupon one time and I still have quite a bit left. So just working through that. Our post office closed at two o'clock. Luckily it's only like five minutes, maybe seven from here. I'm trying to get this done so we can get it off of the post office. Okay, next I sold a Free People bodysuit and I've had this so long, it's like a Kind of a scandalous bodysuit, if you know what I mean. Um, like the intimately free people are. It's funny, I bought this from El Ducho, like, I don't know, I don't remember when. Uh, I think like two years ago, and it was like nine to ten dollars 
like okay on my spreadsheet nine dollars and ten cents each and let's go get this in the oven and um it was all size not all but mostly size extra small they were new with tags but i just haven't been able to move them in two years so okay now we're in the other room i'm gonna switch it around here oh look i already have o down because i had to get something out of that yesterday which is my laser bin i think this is it I'll put a, yeah, this is it. I'll put a picture up on the screen and I'm actually losing money again on this sale, but so glad to see it go. I realize they make really bad sourcing decisions when it comes to uh, free people. Like if one of the wholesale companies or something I use is having a sale with them, like I just end up buying it and it fits for me. I have gotten a few really good pieces and I've gotten a lot of duds, so. It's okay, I'm learning. We're all still learning. I don't find much for people where I live, so it's not like I get to experiment with it a lot. So, like I said, I had $9.10 into this and it sold for $7.99 plus shipping. So, already losing money off the bat. But this was on my 50% off sale. I've already made my money back on this box. Um, and thankfully this is only going to Virginia, so it costs me $3.81 to ship. And I'd only charge $3.50, so I'm losing money all around on this one. But eBay is still a mystery to me, so working on that. Okay. And I think, oh, I was going to talk about, in yesterday's video, I said I had no eBay sales for a few days, and then had like three-ish, I had two, and then someone paid. And I just got switched over, I think Monday or Sunday, I can't remember, to where they are doing that actual views things now, like no bot views, only a 30 day total instead of like your all time views on an item. Um, I got switched over to that and some guy on the thing I was, like a group I'm in, I think Carrie Tornado's group, was saying right now the, the glitch is, or it may have been a woman, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Anyway, there's a glitch that when that first happens, you have several days without sales and then you get like two or three days with three to four sales. So had three sales, actually I had like six eBay sales yesterday because after I shipped those three, I had these three more. So I don't know, I haven't had any today yet. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna leave you all here because I have to go dig in what I call my sweater bin. And I don't really want you guys to see that right now. <laughs> it's like this huge tote full of sweaters that won't fit in the bag. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what sold. It's like this Sherpa Teddy thing and it's Love by Gap. I've never seen this. It's got this cowl neck. And this is what it looks like. It's actually going to Knoxville, which is right next door to me. Oops, someone's coming in. Okay, that was my sister bringing in my mail. So I'm just gonna fold this up. Uh, I was saying this is going to Knoxville, which is the next town. Well, not really the next town. The next big town over from me. I live in the middle of nowhere. So when we wanna go to town, Knoxville is where we go. So shipping should not be very much. I'm gonna try to put this in a baggie, but I don't think it's gonna fit. Well, I have a bigger, my phone just, told me my battery's dying. Uh, here, I'll plug you all in. Boop. There we go. I have a bigger bag over here. This one's like obnoxiously big. Okay, hopefully this one, let's see. These from Cozy are a little better like for fluffier things because they give, whereas the cellophane ones I use on a regular basis if the thing's too big, they just start ripping down the sides. So not super helpful. You don't have to double bag, but this is a white fluffy sweater. And I feel like if this got wet, that would be kind of gross, especially in a male place, you know what I mean? Like and stuff. Okay, it will fit in this bag. I'm gonna put it in a poly mailer because it will be just, even if it's over a pound, it will be the same price to send it actually probably cheaper than sending it a pad of flat rate, so. What is down in this bag? Ugh. This is annoying. This is like, 
one of those fabrics that just picks up everything. So hopefully the person, I tried to get everything I could off of this. And this sold for $12.50 plus shipping, which I charged $6 for. So it might cost more than that. But like I said, this has been listed a while. I'm pretty sure it came in a Jamar box. Yeah, pretty sure this came in a Jamar CPR box. Which I don't order from Jamar anymore. There's been a lot of sketchy stuff going on with them. I have been trying out Cozy, as you've got noticed on my channel. Oh good, this only weighs 12 ounces, so it won't cost more than $6. And um, I'm enjoying trying Cozy out. I have, actually I have four Thread Up Rescue boxes coming. They have them on sale today, um, the men's and women's clothing. I'd already ordered a men's clothing in a denim box. And then um, I today ordered a shoe box. And what's the other thing I ordered today? Oh, like the 50 pound bulk box. So, all right, this is gonna cost $4.34. And they'll probably get it tomorrow or the next day. So that's nice. And I have one kid is in sale. I guess I can go ahead and look up on my eBay. Thing is doing. Okay, it's in the S bin, and I'm gonna have to go get it and leave you all here because you're plugged in now. This one's a little bit, a little fluffy, but I know my shipping hit mailers can take it. Probably should put that on before I shove it in here, but I just want to make sure it fit. All right, I'm gonna go grab in the S bin, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next or the last thing I sold is on Kitizen. It was this Eddie Bauer wool maxi skirt. I thought it was really cool. It sold on eBay a while back, but um, they never paid. So we listed it and it actually sold for a lot more. On Kid well, it sold for 25 free ship on Kitizen. I remember paying, um, I remember paying $3.85 and that was like one of my first haul videos I ever did on YouTube. Not that I'm an expert now, but um, anyway, it was one in that haul. So I've had it a while, but glad to see it go. It cost $5.72 to ship. So I'm still making like a $10 to $12 profit. And this is going to Wisconsin. Oh, the other thing I was gonna tell you guys. So you remember on, maybe if you saw my other video on my first one on Monday, I shipped out, good grief. I shipped out this um, Eileen Fisher skirt and I talked about how it got returned. The person got it yesterday and it's getting returned again. Like, ah, I mean, I don't want people, like I have, like I said, returns on, but they have to pay to re return shipping. So it's not that big a deal. It's just like, when it comes back this time, I think I'm just gonna donate it or something. I'm tired of seeing that skirt. And the other thing I was gonna ask you guys is, um, I used pirate ship to do my kid is in again, and I'm gonna just enter the tracking in. But did you notice that they have negotiated cheaping, cheaper shipping rates? Um, so I just checked the padded flat rate because I thought that skirt might be over a pound, but it weighed 15.9. And the padded flat rates on uh, there now are $8.30. So excited about the new shipping rates. And if you follow me on Instagram, this is the last thing I'm gonna say because I gotta get these packages. Uh, it was kind of funny because I have all this stuff listed, the pajamas and everything, and I showed a screenshot of a lady who made an offer on something, then added two things to her bundle, then canceled the offer on the one thing, then made an offer on the bundle, then canceled the bundle offer. So I don't know what in the world's going on. I did send her a new offer on the bundle. We'll see if I get a sale out of it. And yesterday I did take, I got my box for thread up done, shipped that. Let me know if you guys want to know what they accepted. I wrote down everything I sent in. I think it was 30, oh, I have my list here. It was 39 items and I can let you know what they accept if you guys are interested. And I also sent a box to the real real. So let me know how you feel about that. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. It's my night to cook for everyone uh, where we, I live in a community with my grandparents, my mom and dad, my siblings, and my great aunt. And of course all our children, well, my three children and my brother has a baby. And every night of the week we eat together and we all take turns cooking dinner. And tonight's my turn and I'm making homemade chili and baked potatoes and an apple pie. So gotta get working on that. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.